Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, how are you? Ah, oh, I'm very well. Good Thank evening. You very much. <laughs> I want Carlos. I'm fine. Oh, very good. It's good to know. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby and Jocelyn. My member. Hola, hola, teacher. Hi, Amber. How are you? Uh, más o menos. Eh, le comentaba de que tengo un pequeño percance ahorita. Solamente voy a poder estar como oyente. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, no problem. Ok, hi, Abby. Hi, Abigail. And she's not connected, right? Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. How, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Good. Great. Oh, I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> Ready for, for a new day. Okay. <laughs> Qué bueno. Yeah. Are you ready for today? Uh, ready. Oh, perfect. That's the attitude. No está lloviendo ahí por donde usted vive, teacher. Llovió en la tarde. It rained in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, pero ahorita, gracias a Dios, no. <laughs> it Aquí is... sí está lloviendo por donde yo, yo vivo. Where are you from, Jocelyn? Eh, Lourdes, Colón. Oh, all right. La libertad. I see. La libertad, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it rained in the afternoon here. Aquí fue en la tarde. It was in the afternoon. Ok. Yeah. Juan Carlos, is it raining in your place? A little. A little. All right. right. My house. Uh, no. Not oh, yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Later. <laughs> but this is uh, sunny, iba a decir. Uh, it's snow. Uh, nuboso es. Cloudy. It's cloudy. cloudy. It's cloudy. It's, maybe you can say when it's like kind of like raining, maybe you can say it's overcast. Overcast. It's overcast, yeah. Like overcast. overcast. Like nublado, but darker. Como un poquito más oscuro, tal vez. Cloudy oh, okay. como in, in the summer. But in the winter, you better say overcast. Overcast. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. All right. Very good. Hello, Edgar. Are you there? Are you? Yeah, he's here. Hi, Edgar, how are you? Excuse me. How are you? How do you feel today? Um, bien. Oh, nice. Yes, you can say very well. <laughs> good. 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 Ah, very good. A little bit tired. Un poco cansado. A bit tired. Super, la verdad. You can, in English, in English, you can say super tired, super cansado, super tired. Super tired. Super tired, tired. Okay, so um, I think it's time. It's A2 already. So um, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. All right. Uh, so it's time to start. Okay, vamos a iniciar. It's time to start. Okay, listen. Um, today... Uh, we finished unit number three. Today we finish unit number three. And obviously, next week, we study unit number four, the last unit of module one. La última unidad del modulo uno, the last unit of module one. And next week, you have another test. La otra semana tienen otra prueba. You have another test, like the final test, okay? But... Uh, 
Today, we will try to review unit number three. Vamos a tratar de repasar algunas cosas. We will try to review some important things of units one, two, and three. And obviously, we have some activities to practice unit number three today. All right? So, um, well, let's start. Empecemos entonces. Let's start. Okay, so listen. Um, I just want you to remember about the verb to be. About the verb to be. Am, is, are. So now I will say some sentences. And if my sentences are correct, you do this. And if my sentences are incorrect, you do this. I repeat. Correct sentences, these. Incorrect sentences, these. Yeah. Si están correctas mis oraciones, like this. Incorrect, like this. Are you ready? Yeah? Perfect. Okay, let's start. So I want you to be focused. Quiero que estén atentos and listening to me, all right? So um, let's start. She is my teacher. <laughs> she is my teacher. Correct or incorrect? Correct. <laughs> yeah, correct. Okay, correct. Another example. Um, they, listen to my example. Um, they isn't supervisors. They isn't supervisors. Oh, very good. They isn't supervisors is incorrect. So what is correct, Abigail? They are. They are. Ah, negative they is are. aren't. 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 They, they aren't. Supervisors. Supervisors. Okay, thank you, Abby. Okay, another example. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Um... She is a floor manager. She is a floor manager. Listen again. Everybody's like, listen. She is a floor manager. It's uh, correct. It's correct. Is, is it a question or a sentence? Es una pregunta o una oración. Is it a question or a sentence? Ah, 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 yes. And listen, listen again. She is a floor manager. So is it correct or incorrect? It's a question. The inton intonation is important in English. So it's incorrect. It's not incorrect, but it's incorrect. Okay, let's see. Jocelyn, what is correct? Jocelyn. Sería... Uh, El verbo auxiliar sería do. No, no, no. Do. no, no listen. No, I am, no, no. I am with the oh. verb to be right now. Estoy, ahorita estoy con el am okay. is are, okay? Ah, okay, okay. Eh, she are. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. She are. Interesting. She are a floor manager. All right. Uh, let's uh -huh. see. ¿Quién más le hizo así? Who else did this? All right. Let's see. <laughs> María Elena. Okay, my, my example was, she is a floor manager. So what is correct, Maria Elena? Maria Elena. Uh, is she a floor manager? Exactly. Is she a floor manager? Just remember, just remember. So lo recuerden, just remember. Uh, when we have... Or when we use the verb to be, cuando usamos el verbo to be, when we use the verb to be, am, is, and are, are at the beginning questions. Van al principio en las preguntas. For example, am I um, a supervisor? Am I a supervisor? Yeah. So it goes at the beginning. El am, is, and are. Uh, hold on, hold on. And are, oh my God, what's going on? They go at the beginning, by al principio en las preguntas. Yes? All right, let's carry on, let's carry on. 
Uh, for the ones who are joining, para los que se están uniendo ahorita, I am saying sentences. Estoy diciendo oraciones. I am saying sentences. If my sentences are correct, you give me thumbs up. Si mis oraciones son correctas, give me thumbs up. Me dan, le hacen así. If my sentences are incorrect, you give me thumbs down. Si son incorrectas, thumbs down. Okay? <clears throat> let's continue. Okay, let's see. Um, let me think. Okay. Um, they, listen. Um, they am managers. They am managers. All right. Juan Carlos, can you help us with the correct form? They are managers. Exactly. They are managers. 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 They are managers. They am is incorrect, right? Very good. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Another example. Um, oh, my God. Um, I is a laboratorist. I is a laboratorist. I is a laboratorist. Okay. Okay, Jenny, can you uh, say the correct form? Jenny. Repeat again, teacher. I is. I is. I is a laboratorist. I is a laboratory. Yeah, I, am. I am. I am. Yes, I am. It's correct. I, I am. am. I am. Thank yes. you very much. It's correct. Okay, next example. I can say, um, let me see. Let me give you the next example. Um, she am not a student. She am not a student. She am not a student. So correct or incorrect? She am not a student. Okay, Jocelyn, Jenny, and Brenda are saying it's incorrect. So Edgar, what do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? She am not a student. Okay, what is correct, Edgar? She is not. She is not or she isn't, short form. Okay, thank you, Edgar, that's very good. Okay. Before I continue, I will pass the attendance. Antes de continuar, solamente voy a pasar asistencia y luego seguimos, and then we continue. Okay, let's see. Ana Abigail? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Edgar? I'm here. Ember is here, right? Hazel? I'm here. Uh, Jacqueline? I'm here. Jefferson? Oh, he's connected. Yeah. Jennifer? I'm here. Jessica Lourdes? I'm here. Good. Juan Carlos? I'm here, here. Good. Thank you. Eunice? Oh, she said it was, she was having. I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're here. You sent an audio to me. That's why I'm. Luis Alejandro? Okay, let's continue. Um, Luis Ricardo? She said that he has problem with the internet. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, let's see, uh, Luis Ricardo? He's not connected yet, all right. Maria Elena? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Nelson? I am here. Roxana? Wendy Natalie. Yesenia. I am here. All right, thank you. And Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's continue. So uh, now listen, um, I, will, I, will, I will give you some other examples, just endeavor to be. So listen to the next one. Um, They are the managers of the company. They are the managers of the company. Mm. Correct or incorrect? 
They are the managers of the company. Oh, Loida says it's correct. Correct. Uh, correct. correct. Juan Carlos says it's correct. Listen again. Correct. Look, in English, intonation is important. Intonation is important in English. Now listen again. Is it the same to say, es lo mismo decir, oh, they are the managers of the company. A decir, they are the managers of the company. Is it the same or it's different? It's different. It's different. So now, different. now I ask, different. okay, they are the managers of the company, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Are they correct? Exactly. Are they? Incorrect. So what is correct, Loida? Are they the manager of the company? Exactly. Are they the managers of the company? All right. Normally, when you make a question in English, normalmente cuando hacemos una pregunta, una yes no question o una pregunta cerrada en inglés, mm -hmm. vamos subiendo la voz like this. Okay. So, for example, are they the managers of the company, or do you speak English, mm -hmm. or do you work at Siman? So you raise your voice. En una pregunta cerrada vamos subiendo la voz. We are raising intonation. Vamos subiendo nuestra intonación, ¿ya? Pero ¿qué pasa en una pregunta, en una information question? En una pregunta usando what, when, where. is the opposite. Es lo contrario. Yes? For example, no vamos a decir, where do you work? No, right? You say, hey, where do you work? Vamos así. En las information questions vamos bajando. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? You don't say, where do you work? No, right, it's different, okay? Cuando usamos what, where, when, who, which, why. So it's different. Aquí es diferente. It's different, okay? Vamos bajando en vez de ir subiendo, yeah? All right, let's see. Another one. The last one with the verb to be. La última con el verbo to be. The last one with the verb to be. Okay. Um, let me see. She aren't in class today. She aren't in class today. She aren't in class today. Okay. Yesenia, what do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Listen again. She aren't in class today. Mm -mm. What? <laughs> Yesenia, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, thank you. What is correct? ¿Qué está correcto? What is correct? What is the correct way to say that? Listen again. She aren't in class today. What is correct, Yesenia? Okay, Yesenia, I will give you three options. I will give you three options, all right? She aren't in class today. She am not in class today. She isn't in class today. What is correct? Mm, la tercera será. Okay, yeah, say it, Dila. Say it, please. Uh, she is. Uh, isn't, is negative. She isn't. She isn't um, a class today. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, thank you, Senia. Thank you very much. So let's let's try to recall a little bit. Solo tratemos de recordar un poquito. Let's try to recall a little bit. Just some important things to remember, maybe. Algunas cosas importantes que recordar. Just some important things to remember. Okay. Uh, look, just something important is that you have different pronouns, right? For I, what pronouns do you use for I? ¿Qué pronombre usamos para I? What pronoun? Tell me, please. I am. I am. Or you can say, o po, también podríamos decir, I'm, forma corta. I am or I'm. Very good. Now for, um, let me give you another one. For he, para el he? Is. Is, is. exactly. So for he, you use is. Or you can say, he's, forma corta, he is. He is or he is. All right. Let's look at the other one. She. For she, uh, do you say is or am or, uh, or what? What do we say? Is. is exactly. So is. 
is exactly so we say she is all right or you can say the short form la forma corta she is yeah yes. so this is positive for example you can say i am a supervisor i'm a supervisor he is the manager of the company he is the manager of the company she is the manager of the company or she is the manager of the company yeah be easy as that así de sencillo easy as that just don't forget solo que no se les olvide cuál va con qué verbo si es am is or are va con qué pronombre just keep that in mind okay solo mantengan eso en mente now let's look at the other pronouns we have um we we have you we have oh my god and we have they for these pronouns we use am is or are what do we use ¿Qué usamos? what do we use are exactly we use are for example for example you can say uh, we are what we are students yeah or maybe you can say um you are um teachers or you can say maybe you are supervisors or you are technicians or they are engineers yeah so don't forget are goes with we you and they and if you want the short form si queremos la forma corta okay just don't don't forget that you can say we are the short form right la forma corta uh, your or you can say there pueden usar también there pueden usar la forma corta we are your there all right just don't forget that que no se les olvide ese eso sorry don't forget that and for the questions para las preguntas am is or are go at the beginning van al principio they go at the beginning you say for example uh, am i am i what Am I tired? Oh, am I tired? Or is he is he um happy, for example? Yeah. Or are they are they uh are they cooks? Yeah, are they cooks? And you have the question, of course, right? Yeah. Am I tired? Oh yes, you are. No, you aren't. Is he happy? Yes, he is, no, he isn't. Are they cooks? Oh, yes, they are. No, they aren't. Okay, just to remember. This is just to remember. Esto es solo para recordar. Just to remember. Yeah? So, um, I don't know if you have any question about this, about the verb to be, o algo que les cueste en lo que podamos recapitular un poquito, recordar un poquito. Yeah? Algo en lo que tengan problemas con el am, con el is y con el are. Or it's clear now. Está claro ahorita. It's clear. Remember, this is about practice. Es acerca de práctica. ¿Qué tanto ustedes quieren practicar con esto? It's about how much you want to practice with this. All right? Of course, si solo se dio la explicación y ya no siguieron creando ejemplos o diciendo ejemplos así en su cabecita para practicar, ahí se detiene todo y luego olvidan el tema otra vez. ¿Ya? Yeah? Y eso es lo que pasa en la escuela normalmente, que nos enseñan el verbo to be todo, tercer ciclo, Pero al final, cuando llegamos a bachillerato, ya, ya, ya se nos olvidó el verbo to be. Tal vez no porque el maestro sea malo, sino porque nosotros nunca practicamos el verbo to be. So the same is going to be here. Lo mismo será aquí si no practican. It's the same, all right? ¿Cómo pueden practicar? Writing and speaking. Or studying. Reviewing. Yeah. Okay. So let's do the activity again. But this time, let's use the simple present. This time, let's use the simple present. Esta vez ya no voy a usar am, is, are. I will use verbs. Voy a usar otros verbos, other verbs, yeah? Listen to my example. Listen. Um, I speaks three languages. I speaks three languages. Correct or incorrect? Jenny says incorrect. And Juan Carlos too. What about the others? And the others? And the others? Oh, Brenda says incorrect too. I speaks 
three languages. So Jenny, why is it incorrect? Why? Because you are speaking per person and use a, a letter S. Exactly. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, thank you, Jenny. Exactly. Remember, cuando le vamos a poner ese al verbo? Cuando estamos usando he, she, it. In positive, in positivo. Only positive, all right? Another example. Listen to my example again. I mean, listen to one more example. They, they doesn't check merchandise every day. They doesn't check merchandise every day. Al que no, al que no le haga así, a ese le voy a preguntar, ¿ok? <laughs> they doesn't check merchandise every day. <laughs> huh, let me see, the first one. ¿Quién no le hizo? Let me see if he didn't do it. <laughs> ok, Jessica. What do you think, Jessica? Listen to my example. They doesn't check merchandise every day. Repeat. Okay, they doesn't check merchandise every day. It's correct. It's correct. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see, um, Roxana. What do you think about my example? Is it correct or incorrect? They doesn't check merchandise every day. They doesn't. Uh -huh. They doesn't check merchandise every day. It's correct. It's correct. Okay, so we have Jessica and Roxana say it's correct. All right, let's listen to. Let me see here. Uh -uh, Edgar. What do you think about my example, Edgar? Correct. It's correct. Okay, thank you very much, Edgar. Okay, now I will write my example. Le voy a escribir mi ejemplo. I will write my example. And check if there is something, something abnormal. Okay, now what do you think? Is it correct uh, or incorrect? Uh, is incorrect. Is incorrect. So what is the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? What is the problem? The verb. The verb? B. No. Here we don't you don't use the verb B. The auxiliary. The, the problem is the auxiliary. So listen. The problem is the auxiliary. And what is the auxiliary? The auxiliary is these. Puedo decir they doesn't? Para negativo, no. Para negativo. No, right? What do I say? ¿Qué digo? They, they don't. don't. Exactly. So I say they. They, they don't know. They don't. All right. So this is incorrect. So I say they don't check merchandise every day. Okay, thank you very much. One more example. Correct or incorrect, right? Um, I check email on Monday. 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 I, I check email on Monday. In, All right. In on on Monday, on, I check email on, on, on Monday, Monday. On Monday, on Monday. So Maria on Elena Monday. says, Maria Elena, is it correct or incorrect? Okay, Maria Elena. So what is correct? ¿Cuál es la forma correcta entonces? What is the correct form, Maria Elena? I check email in. In Monday, Monday. in Monday, I check email in Monday. Uh, what do you think, Jacqueline? I check email in Monday or I check email on Monday? Jacqueline? Uh, 
I think she's not focused right now. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. On Monday. Exactly. I check email on Monday. Monday. It's correct. Remember, mm -hmm. on with days of the week, along with days of the week, dia de la semana, on with days of the week, right? Okay, thank you very much, Jacqueline. One last, ex one more example. This is a question. This is a question. Um, let me look for verbs. Let me, ah. Do she install computer programs um, in December? Listen again. Do she install computer programs in December? Do she? Do she install computer programs in December? Oh, Brenda says it's incorrect. Who else? Quem me dice que es incorrect? Who else says it's incorrect? Okay, Edgar too, Jenny too. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. And Jesenia too, right? Okay, Jesenia, what is correct? Jesenia, what is correct? Uh, he's do. Listen to the example. Do she? Do she mm -hmm. install computer programs in December? Sorry. She's. She do a story. She do not story. Okay, it's a question. It's a question. It's not a pregunta. It's a question. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on, Jessenia. So let's listen to Jocelyn. So what do you think, Jocelyn? Does she? Exactly. Does she? Does she? Does she install computer programs in December? Thank you, Jocelyn. So Jessenia, that's the answer. Okay. One more, Una más, one more. Um, let, let, me, let me look for one verb that is common for you. Okay, so ah, let me see. Oh, I have one. Okay, so um, the example is she, she arrived to work early. She arrived to work early. Ella llega a trabajar temprano. She arrived to work early. Okay, Brenda and Jennifer says it's incorrect. And the others, los demás? And the Did others? She, she, she arrived to work. No, it's not a question. She arrived to work early. It's a sentence, it's una oración. It's a sentence, all right? It's a statement. She arrived to work early. 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 So um, let's see. Uh, Loida, what do you think? Is my example correct or incorrect? It's, in it's incorrect. Teacher. Incorrect. What is correct? Incorrect. Okay, what is correct? Is the I think she's having connection problems, right? Yes. So repeat it, please. I think she's having connection problems. Okay. So um, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um, Edgar, what do you think, Edgar? She arrived to work early. She is. Se me fue la señal, teacher, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Edgar, and everyone, you say, she arrived or she arrives? She arrives. She arrives. She arrives. Don't forget, in, in third person, we put S in the verb. En tercera persona, he, she, it, le ponemos S al verbo. Depende el verbo, right? Don't forget that. Keep it in mind. Llévenos siempre mente, keep it in mind, okay? Another example. Um, let me see. Uh, the other example is um, Jefferson write reports on Tuesday. Jefferson write reports on Tuesday. Write is the verb. Write is el verbo. Jefferson write reports on Tuesday. Uh, okay, Jack. Right. The, the same, right? Writes. Jefferson writes reports on 
Tuesday. All right. The last one, one question. La última, una pregunta. The last one, one, one question. Um, let me see. I will use they. Usaré el pronombre they. I will use the pronoun they. All right. And the question is, does they create software? Does they create software? Okay. All right. So everyone, everyone is like, oh my God. Is incorrect. Juan Carlos, what do you think? Do, you, do they? Do they, exactly. Do they create software? Okay, just, just for you to remember. I will share a screen again. Le voy a compartir pantalla otra vez. I will share a screen. Just don't forget. Que no se les olvide. Just don't forget, right? For he, she, and it, Si es positivo, lleva es el verbo. The verb has as, all right? For example, you can say he checks. She watches TV, for example. It eats s. So don't forget that in positive. And one question for you. One question for, for everybody. In the negative, do I put the S? In the negative, I put S? Yes or no? No. No, no. no. It's, it's, no. Only, it's only in the positive form, right? So in the negative, I say... In the negative, I... Oh, so in the negative, I say... I... Don't you don't they don't and we don't all right the same for all of these pronouns lo mismo para todos esos pronombres for example I can say I don't check mer merchandise or I don't install computer programs or you can say they don't um, check email all right they don't work on Sunday for example so I don't you don't or they don't. Now, what about he, she, and it? I say don't or doesn't. Don't or doesn't? Doesn't. 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 Exactly. You say doesn't in negative. He doesn't. For example, um, for example, you can say um, he doesn't help others, right? Or you can say she doesn't send reports. Aquí ya no lleva ese el verbo, el verbo, okay? Or you can say maybe uh, he doesn't make phone calls. Or you can say Jennifer doesn't sell computers. Or Loida doesn't receive money. Or you can say Juan Carlos uh, doesn't keep track of the sales. Or, or maybe you can say Maria doesn't buy new merchandise. So doesn't, 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 all right? So now let's see the, 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 the other one. Veamos lo demás. Let's see the other one. So listen, um, in the last form, la última forma que quiero que veamos aquí, the last form is questions. Preguntas. Questions, right? Aquí no estamos viendo el am, el is y el are. Estamos usando ya preguntas eh, usando el do or el does. All right. Do. Do you... Do I, do they, and do we? Y tampoco lleva ese el verbo, right? So, for example, you can say, um, do you install computer programs? Or do you create software? Do they repair computers? Um, do we advertise the company? Yeah. Or do they uh, help others? Or... Uh, do you arrive to work early? So this is important. But what about he, she, it? I say, does. Este es el verbo auxiliar para, este es el verbo auxiliar para he, she, and it. Para hacer preguntas, right? To make questions, yeah? Does he repair computers? Does she start work late? Okay. Now, 
And this is just to remember. Aquí es solo para que recordemos un poquito. Just to remember a little bit. Just to refresh your mind. Solo para refrescar un poquito. Just to refresh a little bit. Now, I ask, in general, do you have any questions about this? Algo que aún no esté claro de esto? So you can clarify now. Podemos, ahorita podemos aclarar. You can clarify right now. So ask me your questions if you have some questions. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, if you don't have questions, I have questions for you. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yes, Laida, tell me. Vaya, por ejemplo, el, 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 yo soy, ¿verdad? I am, yo yeah. soy directora, okay. I am a principal. Entonces, eh, I, the, no. Sí, vea. I, I don't. I don't. No, I, ah, sí, porque es negativo. I don't. Ay, ¿cuál es la diferencia en el español? Diga, traduzcamelo en el español. <risa> ¿Entre, ¿Entre qué? Entre, Entre en... el I am y I, no, o I, I am not o I don't. Ok, so, ok, I'm not, remember, el am, el is y el are son básicamente el verbo to be que significa ser o estar. So, I, I, uh -huh. I'm not, podría ser, I'm not, yo, yo no estoy o yo no soy, all right, ser o estar, I'm not, mm -hmm. podría ser, it depends, mm -hmm. right, podría significar cualquiera de las dos cosas, I'm not, y I don't, sería yo no, pero aquí uso otro ah, verbo okay. aparte de I don't, mm -hmm. I don't play soccer, yo no juego fútbol, I don't play soccer, ok, después del don't uso un verbo, I use a verb, que no es el verbo to be. That is not the verb to be, okay? Puede ser otro verbo. I don't check merchandise. I don't play chess. Or they don't listen to music. Or he doesn't. Entonces es como el tiempo, ¿verdad? Yo no escucho música. No es, yo no estoy escuchando música. Uh -huh. sino, okay, okay, okay. No escucho. Sí. Yeah. So any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? This part is very important because if you had any doubts in the class, si hubieron dudas en la clase, este es el momento que pueden aprovechar y podemos aclarar cualquier duda. So we don't have any empty spaces, all right? Para que no quede ningún, para que no quede ningún vacío. Yeah? No more questions? And I repeat, this is about practice. Es acerca de practicar. It's about practice. So Jacqueline, Roxana, do you have any question? I can see your microphone is on. No, no questions? Teacher. Yes, Roxana. Estaba como viendo, por ejemplo, ayer yo me confundí un poquito. El has se utiliza cuando? Oh, good question. I like that question. El has y el have, has and have. So, Juan Carlos, can you explain, Rosana, when to use having has? Cuando nosotros tenemos que decir yo tengo que hacer, pero si yo digo I do, estoy afirmando que lo estoy haciendo. Um, no, es que si tú dices lo estoy haciendo, ya nos estamos metiendo a otro tiempo que no hemos estudiado. A un Ajá. tiempo gramatical o verbal que no hemos estudiado. Ajá. Por ejemplo, she has meeting, por ejemplo, with this, pues, qué sé yo. She has, she, she has, has a meeting. meeting. Uh -huh. She Ajá. has a meeting. Uh -huh. Entonces, y si decimos she, o sea, la otra forma que estábamos estudiando era. She has to go to a meeting. She has to go to a meeting, for example. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, Juan Carlos, can you please help Roxana? <laughs> El she has, eh, como lo he entendido, ella tiene que hacer algo, o sea, es como el estando parte o, o le estamos diciendo a ella que tiene que, o sea, él tiene que, ¿verdad? Al final el have to es, viene a ser tiene que, pero no entra como verbo, sino que como un auxiliar. Como un modal, diríamos. Ah, ok. Ajá, es un verbo modal, ajá. 
And then we use another verb, usamos otro verbo. Yes, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you very much. You're right, you're totally right. Yeah, Roxana, basically, if you say, si tú dices, she has to work on Sunday, it's like a must, algo que ella tiene que hacer. Es como, it's a must. Ella tiene que trabajar. So there's no option, no hay opción. She has to do it. Ella tiene que hacerlo. She has to do it. And the same, right? For he, she, usamos el has. He has to go to a meeting tomorrow, for example. Or he has to clean the house today. It's a must. Tiene que hacerlo. There's no option. No hay opción. There's no option. Or you can say, I have to... I have to work tomorrow. So there's no option. I have to work. Yo tengo que trabajar. I have to work tomorrow. Yeah. Is it clear for you, Roxana? Mm, creo que sí. Okay. Es, como, es como una afirmación, ¿verdad? Exactly. It's something I have to do. Es algo que tengo que hacer. No puedo Porque omitirlo. Si yo... I can omit it. Okay. Si yo digo, she checks the mails. She has make mails. O sea... Okay, good question. Uh, she checks emails and she has to check emails. When, cuando yo digo she checks emails, it's like a routine. Es como una rutina, it's like a routine. She checks email every day. But if I say she has to check email, ella tiene que revisar correo, it's like mandatory. Es como algo que ella tiene que hacer. O lo hace o lo hace. She has to check email, yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, thank you, Roxana, for asking. So any other question before we pass to the next activity? Before we go to the next activity? Do you have any other question? Jacqueline, do you have a question? No, okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, now, before we, vamos a repasar algo más adelantito, pero vamos a ir a una actividad primero. We will go to one activity first. Okay, let me share this, um, this part of the material. Listen. Uh, in this part of the material on page 37, in la página 37, on page 37, you have some vocabulary. But the, 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 the letters are disorganized. Las letras están desordenadas. So we need to investigate. You can check the unit. Pueden revisar la unidad. And you write the word. Escriben la palabra aquí. You write the word. And the definition about the word. What do they do, right? Maybe here in definition, no necesariamente la definition, you write the word. And what do they do? Escriben una actividad que esa persona hace. These are like jobs. Son trabajos, jobs. Let's, let's see. What do you think it's in, in this one, in number one? What is the word? What is the job or the, or the department? What is the department in number one? What do you think? Laboratory. Check the words you have. Miren las palabras que tienen disponibles. Check the words you have available. Production. Exactly. So the word is production. So you write here, here. Aquí van a escribir from production. Now. What do they do in production? ¿Qué hacen en production? In the production department, what do they do? ¿Qué hacen ahí? What do they do? Reproducir. Make process. Ah, then you say, they make, make processes. You can say, right? They make processes. Ellos hacen procesos. They make processes. Then continue with number two. En number three, luego continuemos con la número dos y la número tres. It's on page 37, está en la página 37, ok? So go ahead, adelante, let's start to work. It's individually, it's individual, it's individually. Pueden ir a revisar la unidad, ok? You can check the unit para tener una mejor idea. En las primeras páginas de la unidad 3 tenían algunos ejemplos. You have some examples about departments. So you can go there. Podemos ir ahí. You can go to departments of companies. Okay.
on what page do you have the departments? ¿En qué página tienen los departamentos? On what page do you have the departments? On the manual, en el manual. 20, 29. 29. So you can go to page 29. Podemos ir a la página 29 entonces. You can go to page 29. Just to corroborate, to check. The same, if when you finish, put a hand like this. Cuando terminen, siempre pongan una manito así, just to see. All right. So you write only one activity about what they do at that department, okay? Solo escriban una actividad de lo que se hace en ese departamento. You can say they check email, I don't know, they visit customers or they make phone calls, all right? I don't know. or they control and supervise production or they design products or processes, I don't know, all right. Uh, Yesenia, uh, you have the private session today, all right? You have the private session today. Ahora es su turno para la, la sesión, okay? At, at 10, at 10, at 10, okay, good. So, uh, Jocelyn, Jennifer, Juan Carlos, and Jacqueline finished, right? When you finish, please put a hand like this. You can find this hand on reactions, all right? So when you finish, put a hand like this. Oh, thank you, Roxana. I can see you finish too. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. I can see you finished too. <laughs> If, if you don't find the words, si no encuentran las palabras, these are departments. Estos son departamentos. These are departments. And you have the departments on page 27, right, Juan Carlos? Page 27. En la página 27, pueden ir a buscar departamentos. Page, page, 27, page 27 on the manual, okay? So please go to page 27. Si no entienden o si no, si no encuentran las palabras, we have departments on page 27, okay? So go and visit that page. 29. Oh, 29. Okay, okay, 29 then, says Loida, right? Okay, thank you, Loida. Thank you very much. Teacher, this is so difficult for me. Uh, but did you attend the class about the departments? Is we can class I department? know. No. But si que ni en español se lo que hacen así, así, así. Listen, listen, Loida. Loida, listen, listen. Uh -huh. But if you check, si recuerdas en, ese, en esa actividad, hicimos un matching, right? Hicimos un matching. Pero, uh -huh, but... Hicimos un matching con el department y la definición. I... I remember, and I have. And <laughs> in the definition, you have the activities. In the definition, you have the activities. For example, I will give you one. I don't have it here. But I have, uh, let me. For give example, you. Um, so number Martin. one, number one is production, right? Number one is production, and I in the mm -hmm. definition dice control and supervise the production workforce and inventory, that's the definition, yeah? Then the activity can be, la actividad puede ser, they control the production or they supervise the inventory, usando el vocabulario de la definición, using the vocabulary ah. from the definition, easy as that, así de fácil, easy as that. Es que yo quisiera poner otra. algo diferente. Ah, ah okay. Oh, okay, but if you have something different, it's okay. Si tienen algo diferente, también pueden hacerlo. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brenda and Yesenia finished too. <clears throat> All right, let's move. Let's move with the activities. Sigamos. Let's continue then. Let's continue with these activities. All right. So, um, Number one, okay, let's start with number one. So please, you say the word and you say the example. Dicen la palabra y un ejemplo. The word and one example, all right. Uh, let's see, um, Roxana, can you share number one, please? Production. Um, what do you, what do they do, Berta? Yeah, they? They make production the uh, they make process have you dicho uh, and they make processes make production <laughs> okay production they make processes uh -huh. all right simple as that or you can say uh what other activity can they do alguien más que tenga una actividad diferente a different activity raise your hand please and you share yes. levanten la mano levanten la mano y comparten if you have a different activity no Okay, thank you, Roxana. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see number two, Yesenia. Purchasing. Purchasing, exactly. Uh, what do they do? But a uh, quarter right material. Okay, perfect. They, they, can you repeat, please? But a uh, quarter. Right material. Right materials. Raw material. Ah, okay. Raw materials. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else with a different activity for purchasing? She says buy raw material. So do you have another activity? Edgar, do you have a different activity? Ah, a different activity? No. 
No, for, for, for purchasing. Juan Carlos, do we have a different activity for purchasing? It's the same. It's the same, all right, thank you very much. Jenny? Do you have a different activity? The same. The same, okay, Brenda? The same. The same, okay, thank you very much. Okay, they buy raw material, right? So that's what we have. They buy or acquire raw material, equipment, blah, 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 for the use of the organization. Very good. Let's see number three. Number three, let's listen to Jacqueline with number three. Three, Jacqueline. Microphone. Activate your microphone, Jacqueline. Human research management. Management, exactly. What do they do? Select and train the new employees. Yes, select. And they select and train the new employees. Employees. Em employees, exactly. Do they recruit? Do they recruit new employees? No, I don't. No, no I don't. Do they in the human resource management? I repeat, do they recruit new employees? Anybody else can answer? Cualquiera, cualquier otro puede contestar. Do they recruit employees? They do. Yes, they do. They recruit employees. Ellos reclutan nuevos empleados. They recruit new employees. Okay, thank you very much. Now, listen. For the next activity, we will go to breakout rooms. And you will create some questions. Everybody in the group needs to have the same questions. Only the questions. Solo las preguntas, no respuestas. Only questions, all right? Which questions? ¿Cuáles preguntas? Which questions? Um, let me show you which ones. Déjenme mostrarles cuáles. Let me show you which ones. These questions. You will write, let me see, six questions. One question using what, one using when, one using where, one using why, one using which, and one question using who. All right? You can use this vocabulary, create software, check email, check merchandise, repair computers, write reports, keep track of the sales, buy new merchandise, blah, blah, blah. So you can make a screenshot. Si quieren, hagan un, haga un screenshot para que puedan usar este vocabulario. You can make a screenshot if you want. So you use this vocabulary to review, to recycle, okay? Did you make a screenshot? Ya le hicieron el screenshot? Yeah. Pueden ver el vocabulario. Can you see the vocabulary? Hello. Pueden ver el vocabulario. No, 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 no teacher, no. Yes, ah, teacher. Creo que no lo veo. Yo solo veo what, when, where, why. What, oh, perdón. Okay, now can you see it? Ahora sí pueden verlo. Sí. Ahora ah, yes. okay. okay, so you can use this vocabulary. Yes. Pueden usar este vocabulario. So make a screenshot. Le pueden hacer un screenshot, una captura de pantalla. You can make a screenshot. Yeah. Receive money at 10 people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I repeat, you will complete questions, one using what, one using when, one using where, one using why, which, and who. All right. This is on page 37. I signed a página 37. It's on page 37. So are you ready? Just remember, you need to have the same questions, all right? Necesitan tener o deben tener las mismas preguntas. You need to have the same questions for everybody, yeah? Okay, let's go to break of rooms to work. Vamos a trabajar en break of rooms, entonces.
¿Cuántas somos? Seis, cuatro, tres. tres. Ah, que okay. entonces hagamos dos cada una, ¿verdad? Agarro yo las últimas dos. Teamwork, go one by one. Ah, ok, teacher. <laughs> Ahí yeah. sí que está el teacher. It's, <laughs> no, it's actually, it's, it's a good strategy, but the idea is that uh, <laughs> you, you work the questions together. La idea okay, es que las okay. la trabajen juntas, ¿ok? You yeah, have please. a reason. Yeah. Ok, number one. What? What? Pudiera ser, what do you check merchandise? Mm -hmm. What do you, excellent. Maybe you can say what time. Because what do you check merchandise doesn't make sense. Como que así no, no tendría sentido. It wouldn't make sense. Sentido. Yes, porque que revisas mercadería. So it doesn't make any sense, right? Maybe you can say, what time do you check merchandise? Ahí sí. Maybe in that case, all right? Okay. What time? What time? What time check? What time do you check the merchandise? Check email. What she, what what do you what do you check email? Puede ser. Or what do you write reports? Mm, translate the sentence in Spanish, please. Yeah. Just tra translate the question, please. What do you check reports in Spanish? Uh -huh. Say it in Spanish. Uh, what is que, yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, uh -huh. pues no. Ah, pues no. Doesn't no, make no any sense. Así. No. <laughs> sí, es cierto. Yeah. Maybe, que... maybe you can say que haces en la compañía. Entonces haces? sería. Entonces sería what you are. No. No. What do you do? Exactly. What, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? No, what María do you do the company? Or maybe you can say, what time? En este caso, for check email, it's possible. But you have to say maybe, what time? What time do you check email? Ah, in that case, it makes sense, right? Ahora sí tiene sentido. What time do you check email? ¿A qué horas revisas el correo? What time do you check email? In that case, it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> O sea, que you... podemos usar de todo lo que hemos visto. Ya, yeah. con, ajá, uh, exacto, ya. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, ok. As long as you use what, mm -hmm. siempre y cuando usen el what, no problem. As long as you use what, no problem, ya. Yeah. Y le vamos okay, a poner la respuesta, o solo la question. Only the question. Only uh, the question, no uh, answer. Solo la pregunta. Yes. Okay, gracias. thank you, teacher. Yes. All right, no Entonces problem. Eso sería what time? What time? What, ¿A what qué hora time revisa? do you check email? Do you? Ah, esa, esa vamos a dejar entonces, ¿verdad? What time do you check email? Do you check email? Do you check email? Porque decía el teacher que todos tenemos que tener la misma. Exactly. Exactly. Why time do you do do you check? Um, it's normal. It's normal. Don't worry, Nelson. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. Uh, febrero, marzo, abril. Finaliza el módulo. Why? Why? Um, no, puede ser. Why do you write reports? Why do you repair computers? Oh, why, why do you help others? Ah, okay. Good question.
optimista. Ahorita estamos en la semana de ciencia, de ciencia al 20. ¿verdad? De ahí, which. Which. Entonces, ahorita sería. ¿Qué fecha me dijo, perdón? Which, which, which. Yo, yo. Sí, aquí. Sí, licenciado, el 30 de abril. Bueno, entonces, es, como, es que aquí, de acuerdo a cómo estoy viendo, están tomando los dos módulos como una sola cosa. El, de, el, el módulo 1 y el módulo 2. Which es sí, cuál, bien. ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, y aquí dice que. Pero de escoger. En el intermedio tenemos la palabra. De, de, ¿Cómo se llama eso? Preferencia. Bueno, uh -huh. en ese caso, pues. Este, ustedes digamos que no veo acá. Sí, sí, pero... aquí en todos estos que nos ha puesto, eh, no veo ninguno que diga preferencia. Entonces, acá tenemos que maybe this una... case what you can do is that you can say uh, which department, for example, or which what for preference, which department do you prefer, for example, or which department do you like? Can be one for preference. Oh, Podríamos which, formularla como eh, which do you eh, Bien, entonces, como les decía, department. Les decía, jóvenes, vamos a hacer, digamos, human department. Hola. Ok, uh, just a question. No sé si escuchan una interferencia. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have my... Entonces, Another conference for my brother. Ah, ok, yeah, ok, perfecto, ok. Yeah. No pensé que era aquí adentro, que, que había algún problema. Okay. Okay. No, uh, it's a speaking, the teacher, the, the teacher. Ok, ok, thank you, Brenda. Yeah, uh, wow. Juan Carlos, maybe you can say uh, which department, which department, because when it's preference, after which you need something, después de which necesitamos algo. Just not, not talking about something different. You can say maybe which food do you like? Which department do you prefer? Which drinks do you like, for example? Normally you use like, prefer, because it's preference, right? In the end, yeah? Which, eh, la otra palabra que sería objeto, sujeto? Un noun, un, noun, un, mm. un sustantivo, a noun. Ah, okay. O un nombre. Uh -huh. Puede ser a noun do también. You? Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, which manager do you prefer, for example? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, yeah a noun. ¿Cuál departamento repara computadoras? Exactly, exactly. Which, Así pero, sería entonces. which department repara hold on, computers? Espera. Hold on, hold on a moment. It's, I mean, the example, it's okay. Pero en este caso ya iría algo diferente. Ya, ya, no, ya, no usaría, ya no usaríamos el do you. It's okay. All right. But for this, you have to say which department repairs computers. Which department repairs computers. So aquí ya no iría el do you. Porque no tendría sentido decir which department do you repair computers. No, right? Ya no tiene sentido. Yeah. Aquí sería algo diferente. Por eso te digo... Um, por eso normalmente va el prefer o el do. El, el prefer o el like, sorry, porque estamos hablando de preferencia. El verbo prefer. Like. Yeah. Well, one example uh, is uh, which do you prefer, the pizza or chicken? Yeah, you can, you can say that. But, but in this case, because no estamos diciendo like al principio, no estamos, no estamos usando después del which, no estamos usando la palabra pizza. Maybe in this case you can say, which pizza do you prefer? It's, it, it makes sense. Which pizza do you prefer? Oh, I prefer, it. then you say beef pizza or I don't know, any other kind of pizza, right? It's, it, it will make sense. Pero normalmente después del which siempre va la palabra que vamos a hablar de preferencia. De la que vamos a hablar, la, de la que vamos a decir la preferencia, all right? Yeah. Which pizza do you prefer? Or which car do you like? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, which, which program you prefer? Yeah, yeah. Do you prefer? Which program do you prefer? Or maybe you can say, um, which, what? Which department or which, yeah, which department do you visit on Monday? 
which department do you visit on Monday? Like, it's like, which department do you prefer to visit on Monday? Mm -hmm. It's possible too, también es posible en ese caso. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Juan Carlos. Hola. Which? What is the question? <laughs> Esa me pareció la de which department to do you visit on Monday? That's my example. <laughs> no, I like that example. Yeah. No, it's okay. I'm kidding. Estoy bromeando. I'm kidding. You can, you can write it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this is a guide. Pero es una guía a seguir. Esa pregunta. Teacher. Sorry, yeah. Es una guía a seguir. How come? ¿Cómo así? How come? Eh, la pregunta es, a which department do you visit on Monday? Mm -hmm. yeah. Podría ser una guía, o sea, como una, una línea en las preguntas. Oh, you mean usar la misma, el mismo verbo para todas las preguntas? No, no, no. Do you y el verbo cualesquiera que, que, que haya. El... Which department do you eh, sell on Monday or vende más? ¿Cuál sería? No, no, the thing is that you're confusing the, 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 the question, Juan Carlos. Mm -hmm. The, the thing is that, lo que lo entiendo, I, I, I understand your point. And it's okay, también se puede usar, pero en este caso ya no se podría utilizar el do you para el tipo de pregunta que tú estás usando, but we can use which, pero podemos usar el which. Si me dices, por ejemplo, re repeat the last one, repíteme la, la última. Eh, which department do you sell? Sell. O sea, que, no. ¿cuál es el departamento que vende más? Ok. Maybe in this case you can say, which department, which department does more sales? Hace más ventas. Or, yeah, make, do, do sales, make. Ok, What, which department makes more sales? Which department makes more sales? Ya no iría do you en este caso porque no tiene sentido. ¿Ya? Yeah. O sea, which... do you es cuando lo... O sea, do you y el verbo, ¿qué tipo de verbo entonces tendría que ser? Any verb. Uh, may, uh, not, not any verb, sorry. No, no any verb. You can be maybe visit, like, or maybe you can say prefer, el que les decía. Um... Eh, ¿Cuál era que decías eh, tú, Brenda, con program? The, the example, which program? Prefer. Ah, prefer. Ok. Mainly, son los que yo sé al menos. Prefer y like son los más usados. Prefer and like porque es preferencia. Ah, you can use visit. También se me vino a la mente visit ahorita que también se puede usar. Si hay otros, no lo sé, pero puedo investigar a ver si hay otros. Ah, ok. Entonces, son pocos. Yeah. Los demás sí los podríamos ocupar el which eh, sin el do you. Y siempre, exactly. seríamos, y siempre haríamos la misma pregunta. O sea, yes. siempre se podría generar alguna pregunta de eso yeah. a partir de ahí. Mm -hmm. Ok. Por ejemplo, you can say, uh, which music makes you happy? Which music makes you happy? And it's okay. Ah. ¿Qué música te hace feliz? ¿O cuál música te hace feliz? Which music makes you happy? Yeah. Okay. But in these cases... Use which department do you visit on Monday? <laughs> yeah, okay. I like that question. I like that question. <laughs> it's okay. Teacher. Yeah. But in this moment, we need to do, we need to use the, the do. Oh, do that's you. Right. you better uh -huh. use do you. Mejor use do you si quieren. Only okay. do you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, Juan Carlos. Which department? Uh, did you finish your questions? No, no. Not yet. Do you have any doubt or everything is okay? Todo está bien hasta ahorita. Everything is okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.
We use the different uh, statements that we started, right? Mm, what do you Using mean? Using the double question. Yes, the, the, you mean the vocabulary? Uh huh. Well, the auxiliaries. Ah, you, you mean that you have to use different auxiliaries in the questions? Uh -huh. That's your question. Uh, what question do you have in what? In what For example, uh, uh, what do you do? Okay. Or what does? And the other is what time? Um. Okay, okay, Jenny. It's it's only it's only one question, right? You you can say only what time do you check email? For example, you have the question already. I yet in the pregunta, you have the question, or maybe you can say what do you do? So you have the question, ya tienes la pregunta. It's only one question for each information word. Es una pregunta I'm para confused. cada uno. I will come. I was confused, but now it's clear. All right, yeah, it's only one question. One question using what, one using when, one using which, one using where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Vienen preguntas con Wii, vamos a ver acá, vamos a ver, porque nos falta esa, ¿verdad? Nos falta esa pregunta. Eh, we are you. Aquí hay una, dice, we are you walking, walking so, so late, algo así, porque estás trabajando tan tarde. Why do you work? Um, Where do you work? Eh, pero... Ah, pero entonces sería, ¿por qué trabajas? Yes, porque ese es el tema que estamos estudiando oh, ahorita. Es el, que es el simple Entonces, present. yo trabajo por el dinero. Ah, why, why do you work so late? Ok, I work for money, you can say. Pero la, la respuesta no la vamos a hacer. Only, only the question, ok? By now, only the question. Ahorita solo la pregunta. Ah, pregunto. solo la pregunta. Yes. Ah, es más que nos hemos matado haciéndole I respuestas a cada una. But I, I told you in the instruction, no me prestaron atención en la instrucción ustedes. Les dije, no? no answer, only question, no answer, only question. Bueno, no le oí. Ah, ya, Ay, pues así está más okay. fácil. Uh -huh. Ah, pues así está más fácil. Ok. ¿Quién sería entonces? Mm. ¿Where are you working? Sí. No. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, ¿Where are you working? No. Sí. Why, ¿Why do you work? Sí. Es que tengo no. problemas con la señal. Eh, ¿Cómo Yesenia? sería? Yesenia, listen, please. Yesenia, look. The, the, problem yeah. is, the problem is that you are confusing... The topic we are studying with the present continuous. El problema es que tú estás con, confundiendo el tema que hemos estudiado con el presente continuo. Uh, okay. En el presente continuo, it's okay to say, why are you working? ¿Por qué estás trabajando? So, that, that's a different tense. Ese es un tiempo verbal diferente. That's a different tense. Uh, Ahorita estamos usando do y does. All right? Uh, why do you work? ¿Por qué trabajas? Why do you work? Okay. What? Why do you work? Ah, ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, no problem. Y si quiero, y si quiero en el which dice eh, cuáles. Ah, ¿Cuál o cuáles? Poner, ¿Cuál o cuáles? ¿Cuál o, o cuáles? Yeah. Consultarle cuál, cuál es tu horario. Yeah, this is a little bit complicated. Ese es un poco complicado, uh -huh. it's a bit complicated. Porque which le dije que se usa mayormente for preference. Para preferencia, for preference, is for preference, ¿ok? Y le daba algunos ejemplos. Uh, what? Um, which department do you like? For example, which department do you like? ¿Qué departamento te gusta de la compañía, right? Of the company. Which department do you like? Maybe you can say, um, which, what? Which salary do you prefer? 
¿Cuál salario prefieres? Which salary do you prefer? Ajá, porque ah, estamos hablando de preferencia. Sí. It's about preference, ¿ok? Yeah. Ok. Bien. Creo que... Em, ah, ahí está Ember, ya. Ya, sí, ya vino Ember. Entonces, eh, hacemos la siguiente, ¿verdad? Con... Con, why, con which. Entonces, en esta sería... Which salary do you mean? Do you prefer? Which... ¿Tú? Do you prefer, preferir, prefer? Prefer. Prefer. You write prefer. Ah, prefer. Y ajá, prefer. De preferir, prefer. Mm -hmm. Which salary do you prefer? Exactly. Which salary? Which salary? Which salary? Okay. ¿Qué más sigue, Abigail? Which salary do you? Do you? Prefer. Sería como prefieres prefieres ajá prefer prefieres sí, okay. y en el otro sería quién Pref ah prefer okay. yeah prefer that's yeah yeah it's okay <laughs> which salary do you prefer okay gracias teacher okay y ahí en quién Hola, hola. Vamos con el Ju, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, con el Ju. ¿Quién? Ahí tengo que hacer una pregunta con eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Ay, ya se nos acabó. Ya nos vamos casi, pero ya casi terminamos. Ya have 50 seconds, tiene 50 segundos aún. Ya have 50 seconds. Con... Did you finish? Did you finish the questions? Finish, teacher. Oh, okay, perfect. Some, some students were writing answers. Algunos estaban escribiendo respuestas. I said only questions, solo preguntas, only questions, right? No answers, yeah? Let's wait for everyone to come back. Esperemos que regresen todos. Let's wait for everyone to come back. Teacher, I have yeah. a question. Tell me. If which it's a preference, it's yeah. okay if we, we say which do our office. No. Which okay. do our office. Remember, if which is a preference, we need a word. Necesitamos una palabra después de which. We need a word after which. Uh, for example, you can say, um, I was telling Juan Carlos, I guess, you can say which. Which. And after which, después del which, necesitamos una palabra que vamos a, 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 por la que vamos a preguntar. For example, you can say which. Um, I was saying department last time. Which department? ¿Cuál departamento? Which department? Which department um, do, do you prefer, for example? Which department do you prefer? ¿Qué departamento prefieres? Which department do you prefer? Because it's preference, porque estamos hablando de que el which is for preference, okay? Sorry. Estamos hablando de que el which is for preference. Este department, department here, puede ser reemplazado por otra palabra. Podría ser which movie. Uh, which food? For example, teacher, with, which day do you prefer check emails? Can you which repeat day, this? Which day do you prefer check emails? Exactly. Which day do you prefer to check emails? That's a good example. It's a good example. Which day do you prefer to check emails? Mm -hmm. uh, which siempre va a ir acompañado de prefer. Yeah. Puede ser, le, le decía a algunos que puede, podría ser prefer, 
No hay muchos verbos. There aren't so many verbs. Maybe you can say like. Like which foods do you like? Incluso, you can say this is. Okay, so which departments do you visit on Monday, for example, or which countries do you visit in December? Which countries do you visit in December? Hmm. So we can use prefer, like, and visit. Por ahora son los verbos que se me ocurren nada más, by now. Con prefer. Eh, eh, o sea que en el inglés, el which es solo preferencias. Yes. Y toda otra pregunta se va a basar en las otras, como que, what? que, cuando. Usamos el what. Para otra pregunta usamos el what. We use what. Mm -hmm. yeah. No como nosotros, ve cuál es tu tío. Es decir, quién es tu tío. Exactly. So, but, but, that's a, tu... but that's a problem in our grammar. Ese, es el pro, <laughs> ese, ese, problema, ese problema es nuestro en Grammar. español. It's a, it's a grammar <laughs> problem. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Okay. okay, so thank you. I think everybody is back. Creo que todos regresaron. I think everybody is back. Okay, listen. Teacher. Yeah. Uncorrect uh, or incorrect. Which is your color favorite? No, which color is your favorite? Or maybe you can say which is your favorite color or which color is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Which is your favorite color or which color is your favorite? The two forms are okay. Okay. Yeah. Entonces está correcto. Gracias. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, uh, so now listen. As in this moment, you only have the questions, right? In this moment, you only have the questions and you need answers for these questions, okay? Now listen. Um, oh, pero zona, oh my God. So it's 9.30 already, zona 9 y media. So I will give you a short break. Le voy a dar un pequeño receso de dos minutos, two minutes, right? So let's go to the break, two minutes, and we continue with the other activity after the break, okay? So let's go to break. Vamos a receso, dos minutos, two minutes break. Teacher, can I sleep two minutes, please? No, please don't say that. Don't, don't oh. worry. It's in 27 minutes, you can sleep all the time you want. In 27 minutes, you can sleep all the time you want. Okay? But right now, you can sleep. <laughs> ya oh. no puedo más. I imagine how tired you are. Imagino que andas muy cansada. But in this moment, in this Desde moment, cuatro y media estoy despierta sin despegar un ojo. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Ya, estoy más muerta que despierta. <laughs> no, but don't worry. So in this moment, we will go to a practical activity. Ahorita vamos a ir a una actividad práctica y no te vas a dormir en esa actividad. I promise. Okay? <laughs> Just give me a moment here. All right, let's continue, continuemos, let's continue. Time is over, right? The two minutes are over. Okay, listen, uh, so please everyone get back, regrese and get back, please. All right.
All right. So instruction. So listen. Um, in this moment, uh, you have the questions, obviously, right? So in this moment, you need answers for your questions. But listen, it's very important that you answer the questions with real information. I repeat, it's very important that you answer the questions with real information. I will give you some examples. Imagine they ask you, imagínense que les preguntan, imagine they ask you, um, when do you create software? When do you create software? But you don't create software, pero ustedes no crean softwares. ¿Qué van a responder? When do you create software? Hey, you say, I don't create software. I don't create software. So the answer will be, la respuesta será, I don't create software. Or maybe you can say, Jacqueline doesn't create software. Or Jennifer doesn't create software. I need real information, okay? Imagine somebody asks you, y imagínense que la persona con la que trabajan les pregunta, hey, um, when or what time or why? Why do you buy merchandise? Why do you buy merchandise? But you don't buy merchandise, pero ustedes no compran mercadería, trabajan en otra cosa. ¿Qué van a contestar? I don't buy merchandise. ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Lloyd doesn't buy merchandise. Lloyd doesn't buy merchandise. One last example, un ejemplo más. Just imagine, just imagine, imagínense que su compañero les pregunta, um, let's see which, or are you saying where? Uh, where do you receive money? Where do you receive money? Okay. Ah, then you say, I receive money at the bank or I receive money at the company, all right? Or you can say, I don't receive money. Yo no recibo dinero, I don't receive money. I don't know, right? Yo no sé. ¿Cuál es su respuesta? But I need real information in the answers, okay? Necesito información real en las respuestas, okay? So are you ready? So now you go, you ask the question and you take notes, yeah? Okay, let's go. Vamos entonces. Let me, just let me check how many people I have connected here. 15 okay I will make seven teams all right let's go let's go De que tengo 21 respuestas. Son, envíe. When do you send reports? Monday. Solo 
me acuerdo ¿Sí? el segundo, porque me dice que se recibió 21. O sea que 21 de ustedes me contestaron ah, porque me El punto ¿Sí? es. No, claro, creo. Entonces, no, mi conveniente sea se viene comunicando a través del correo de la, de la aula virtual. ¿Monday app? Perdón, le decía, de clic donde está. Eh, ¿What time? Hace cinco horas. Ey. Ey. Ahí, 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 ¿Cuántas personas trabajan, vea? No. Where? ¿Dónde? Where? Where? Do you eh, attend people? de trabajo, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde? ¿Where? Ajá. ¿Do you attend? ¿Atiendes? ¿People? ¿Dónde? ¿Departments? ¿Qué? ¿Sin departments? Los 14 departamentos. Oh. Acá en donde dice me anuncios permítame sus actividades cursos aquí hay un lugar donde dice anuncios mm. why do you help others why do you help others lo van a poder leer precisamente ¿qué más? ¿qué eh, una consulta, le decía, ¿cómo es que se va a tomar? Perdón, ¿cómo es que va a tomar usted la asistencia? Porque estamos leyendo que pide el 80%. Eh, la última palabra, perdón. Eh, Others. En el caso de la virtualidad, sí, así todo, la verdad es que si estamos en Teams, yo puedo pedirle a Teams que me dé la lista de asistencia a Teams. ¿Verdad? A Teams. Estamos hablando de la asistencia a esta sesión. ¿Eh? Pero la sesión. No la, te la, entiendo. Si no hubiera aquí. Why? La asistencia se. ¿Por qué? Digamos, Do you help? Foro, la misma. Where does you work? I work in Educo. Repeat the question, please, Jenny. Me, me equivoqué, lo siento. Ah, ok, ok. No problem, it's ok. <laughs> Where do you work? I work in Educo. María, right. You're a teacher, María. Work. Are you a teacher? No, I am a nutritionist. Oh, nice. Educo is a... ONG. 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 Oh, nice. Okay, continue. 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 When do you check email? I check email every morning. What time do you arrive at work to work? Depends. Depends. And sometimes five, 
or eight o'clock. Maybe this day. Uh, so sorry for the interruption. Uh, maybe uh, Maria Elena. Maybe in this uh, specific case, you can say at about at about five or uh -huh. eight, at about or around around five or eight. Mm -hmm. Five or eight mm -hmm. or at about five or eight. It's like at an about, at about five or eight. Or eight. Yeah. So maybe you can about the answer. Eight. Uh, <sighs> Which company do you prefer? Oh. Repeat, please. Which I will change. Which department do you prefer? Uh, I prefer account department. Accountability. Accounting. Contabil Accounting department. Accounting. Account. Accounting. I prefer the accounting department. The, the accounting. I prefer the accounting department. The accounting department. Yeah. You have other mm. I don't know what so... but at the same me dijiste que en la anterior. What time do you arrive I, at work? At, at about five or eight. About. Five, five or eight. Eso es como. Cinco de la mañana. Mm, ah, yo entendí que a qué hora regresaba en la tarde o a qué hora salía. Llegas. Yo ¿Qué time do you arrive at work? Ah, yo regreso del trabajo. Yesenia, ¿es Amber busy? Ah, Yesenia, ¿está ocupado? Pues creo que sí, porque no, hace un rato estaba ocupado, entonces por eso no. Ah, oh, ok. No, sí. I'm sorry. No. Ok, let me look for someone. Déjame buscar a alguien para que se te una y practique mm -hmm. cualquier cosa. Ah, está, okay. está bien, ok. Ok. Yo soy. Eh, no se escucha. Ah, tenía apagado el micrófono, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, were you alone? Estaba sola también. Ah. Eh, yes, es que estaba con Noida, pero tuvo un problemita con el teléfono. Y entonces eh, se desconectó. Ah, ok, perfecto. So you can continue entonces, with ok, porque okay. iba por la número 3. Ok, so you can continue with number 3. It's ok. Ok. Ah, bien. Eh, si usted me dice el ejercicio para, para ver si estamos en lo mismo porque eh, 
¿Cuál es el ejercicio que usted estaba haciendo con la compañera? Porque como el otro compañero no, no estaba, entonces no. Puse eso yo mi ejercicio propio. Ok. Eh, yo iba a preguntarle, hacerle la uh, question number three. Eh, que sería, where do you work, Yesenia? Where do you work? Eh, where do you work? Uh -huh. Caso, mire. Ya, ya, ya. Ahorita. Voy a dormir. ¿Eh? Ya tenemos sueño. Sí, le dije ahorita que estaba a Tiche que, que, que si me podía dormir dos minutos y me dijo, ¡Ah! y me oyó. So Jacqueline, you completed the answers and Rosana too. Sí. All right, perfect. It's almost, it's almost time, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, it's almost time, ya casi es hora, it's almost time. Ay, cierra los ojos. No, please. En este please. caso, solo tengo una duda. Yes, tell me, dime, tell me. La pregunta es, when do they buy new merchants? Yeah. Entonces, when will they? La respuesta sería, they buy new merchandise from month to month. O qué es lo que le tuviera, o, o el... Me, o el me, what, what you want to say is que mes tras mes. Ajá. Ok, maybe you can say month after month. Month after month. Month after month. Okay. Like this. Let me write it here. So you only put after. It is month after month, all right? Mes tras mes, month, month. Ok, pero yes. ¿verdad que en este caso el verbo buy queda de la misma forma, no yes. de la forma. No, no, ah. because you're saying they, because you're using they, they buy. Okay. So no problem, they buy. Vaya, Vaya. ahora bien, la otra dice, which day? Do you prefer? Quiero ver cuál era. Ah, no. Dice, why does she help others? Si yo hablara de mí o por mí, dijera, because I love help people. Hablara en mi persona. Pero si hablara de ella sería, because she helps people. Loves, con S. Se quedó trabado, Linda. Hola. Uh, Jacqueline, your, your classmate bueno. is supposed to give you the answer. You ask the question, bueno. the person answers Hola. the question. Ay, Sorry. se quedó trabado, congelado todo. Jacqueline, you ask the question and Roxana answers your question. And you take notes. Vaya. Dice, what does she help other en este caso si yo hablara de alguien más pero si yo le preguntara directamente a ella sería what do you help others yeah that's better Ajá, para que te dé una respuesta to have a better answer mm, okay and then she says ah because it's important or because I like it for example en este caso llevaría el S el like it or love it no, not because you say I no. Because I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary in this case. Ah, pues yo creo que ahí estamos. Muy bien. Pero siempre la respuesta que voy a a la hora de contestar, si dice, which day do you prefer check email? Yo voy a contestar, I prefer check email on Monday. Yeah, it's perfect. I prefer to. I prefer to check email on Monday. To, to check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect, Jacqueline. It's very good. Y una forma de que corta de contestar esa pregunta, teacher. Maybe you, maybe you can say on Monday directly. Tal vez podríamos decir directamente on Monday. Pero it's not Sin like a Sorry? Pero verdad que en este caso, como la pregunta, por decirlo así, es con el acento, eh, con el, 
signo, mi respuesta va a ser, además de contestar lo demás, sería como el agregado de la pregunta. Por ejemplo, en este caso, ¿verdad? dice, which day do you prefer check email? Como es pregunta, voy a contestar, I prefer check email. Sin necesidad, o sea, hacerlo completo. I think you're having, I think you're having connection problems, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you hear? Hi, Jacqueline. I think she's having connection. Se traba el inter, verdad? Okay, yeah, Jacqueline, I understand your point. Entiendo tu punto. I understand your point. Yeah, the thing is that when you say which day do you prefer to check email, in the answer you can say I prefer to check email on Monday. Okay, formal. Sí. Esto es algo más formal. It's more formal. Pero si lo quiero decir solo así, de manera informal, I say on Monday. Directamente on Monday. On Monday puede ser usado en, en speaking, cuando solamente están hablando. Pero ya en algo formal escrito, so you have, you have to say, tú tienes que decir, you have to say, I, I prefer to check email on Monday because it's something formal. Es algo más formal. It's something mm. more formal. Okay. Okay. Ya pues estamos. Ya terminamos. Bueno, ya terminamos las, yeah. las que teníamos And en común. Time is over. Y, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> About to go to sleep. About to go to sleep, Jacqueline. About. Only Pero mañana years. hay que volver a despertar. Voy a, voy a cerrar exactamente a las 10 para que vayas a dormir temprano, ¿ok? Día viernes ya no más. <risa> Me surgieron tantos. Yes, Loyden. Ask your question. What are your questions? Doubts about what? Ya. Yeah. Vaya, espera que... Voy a quitar quizás la camarita para que me, no se me vaya la señal. Vaya, es que mira, estoy en un dilema. If I say, when do you write reports? I respond. I write reports on Monday. It's okay. Yeah, it's perfect. But why is my mother saying, no, why is? Si sí, sí, necesita la S. No, no, remember, just keep right. in mind. Recuerda, vas a, vas a usar la S, you will use S en el verbo solamente cuando está el he, el she o el it. Esa es la regla, that's the rule. He, she, it. Tercera persona del singular, only in those cases, all right? Solo en esos casos, only in those cases, la S para el verbo. ¿Ya yes, suelta? Here. Mm -hmm. In the I, ajá, ok, ok, ok. El I es primera persona del singular. En el verbo. Es... Ajá, digo I write. Sí, no le pongo eso. Es... Ajá. Uh... Solo para he, he, it. O podría ser, o he, it could he, be he. Yesenia, Nelson, mm -hmm. que son como he o she, right? Yes, Yesenia, Nelson. Nelson writes. Exactly. Nelson writes reports on Monday. All right. So everyone, um, thank you for practicing. Thank you very much for practicing. Uh, I don't know if before we finish uh, today's session, I don't know if you have any other question. Do you have yes, any other eh, ¿Cómo se la respuesta de Becca habla duda? La respuesta de los which, cuando pregunta por eh, con which, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? It depends on the question, depende de la pregunta. If the question is, for example, which day do you prefer to check email? Uh -huh. La respuesta empieza desde el verbo que sigue después de do you prefer. And then I say, I prefer to check email on Monday. Or maybe, which department do you prefer? Después del, del you. I prefer the marketing department. Or which food do you like? El verbo que sigue después de do you, con ese empieza la oración I like. Which food do you like? I like pizza or chicken or pasta or any any other food. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. 
All right, no problem. All right, so any other question? No, so, antes de que, de que cerremos, eh, recuerden, estamos en la tercera semana, finalizando la tercera semana. Nos falta una semana para terminar el módulo, ¿ok? And that's good news. Esas son buenas noticias, por supuesto. Eh, solo siempre motivarles que no bajemos la guardia. Recuerden, mañana yo debo mandar un reporte, si recuerdan. Y siempre les pido que, siempre les pido de favor, que hagan las tareas o que complementen todo cada día, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Y que antes del mediodía, antes de las 11, si es de ser posible que tengan ya todas las tareas completadas. Para que yo cuando haga el paseado, porque a mí me lo piden de requisito cada fin de semana, cada sábado temprano, cuando yo a las, de las 11 en adelante yo entre y yo haga el paseado de las notas, ya esté su nota. Así para que no, ah, se me olvidó completar. Por eso hago este recordatorio, ¿ok? Para que completen, si tienen alguna pendiente, a completarla para que mañana esté listo, ¿ok? Y la otra semana, obviamente, es el final de, de módulo. Y la otra semana, también el viernes, a final de semana tenemos un examen, una prueba final también de inglés, ¿ok? Escrita, así como la que hicieron a finales de, la, de las primeras dos semanas, ¿ok? So, guys, thank you for coming. Gracias por unirse siempre, por estar pendientes. Yo sé que es muy duro para ustedes. Sé que trabajan igual que yo todo el día a veces y están muy cansados, pero depende de la actitud que tomemos también, ¿verdad? A veces podemos andar bien cansados, pero si tenemos una actitud positiva, eso nos ayuda muchísimo, ¿ok? Well, thank you for joining. Gracias por unirse. And have a great weekend. Tengan un grandioso, hermoso fin de semana. Okay? Cuídense muchísimo y les veo el lunes. You too. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. 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 Al fin, a dormir, Dios. Good night. <laughs> Say dreams. Okay, Jen, se me queda ahora, no se me sola, Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia, you stay today. Don't go. It's not your time for going to sleep, okay? <laughs> Just let me get my... My notebook, solo déjame traer siempre mi libreta porque ese es el que Ok. Veamos, let's see, veamos. Um, uh, let me see, yeah, yeah, here I am. Yes, sir. Muy bien. Ok, veamos, Yesenia. Ok, let's see, Yesenia. Uh, so, Yesenia, so this time is for you. I don't know if you have any question about something, no sé si tienes dudas acerca de algún tema que hemos visto, has tomado sí, cosas de algo, ¿no? Sí, sí, vaya, y yo tengo dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Porque eh, ahorita yo estoy recordando todo lo que usted dijo de tercer ciclo, entonces, pues, eh, estamos ahí <ríe> analizando. Pero, eh, me gustaría saber, teacher, en inglés, ¿cómo va la estructura gramatical de la oración? Ok, perfecto. Así es una manera en la cual lo puedo ordenar en mi mente y ya más o menos ahí guiarme. Ok, muy bien. Eh, good question. Buena pregunta. Good question. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Vaya, vamos a estudiar entonces eh, la estructura básica de una oración. ¿Mm? Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo um, I am just to give you one example. I am a Supervisor, all right? Or a teacher, you can say in this case, I am a supervisor. Okay, la oración, the sentence, has different parts, tiene diferentes partes. En este mm -hmm. caso, vamos a ver algunas de ellas. For example, if he has a subject, tiene un sujeto. Mm -hmm. Then he has a verb, luego tiene un verbo. Okay. And finally, he has a complement in English. Finalmente, tiene un complemento en inglés. Un complemento. Ah, de, 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 de la A. Exactamente. Okay. Puede ser para, es que en términos, estoy hablando en términos generales, en general okay. terms, ¿ok? Bueno, usando la misma. Aquí el ejemplo es, I am a supervisor. Pero imagínense que yo digo, otro ejemplo, ya no usando el A. Uh -huh. Hemos estado estudiando, I check. I check. I check email on Monday, for example, on on Monday, el lunes. I check email on Monday. ¿Ya? Yeah? Sí. La misma estructura. 
sujeto, uh -huh. verbo, y un complemento que puede ir. Verbo y un complemento. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ah, eso, eso es el término general. Right? Pero ahora bien, so I give you an example. Imagine, imagínense que quieres escribir una oración negativa. That's imagine, right? Ok. ¿Cómo se hace? How do you do it? Lo mismo. Voy a usar chi. Solo que en negativo lleva. Eh, la. Das. La. Don. Ah, si das. Me, por ejemplo. Lleva el, el auxiliar. El auxiliar es un verbo también, pero solo que es un auxiliar. Solo ayuda, no más a ser negativo. Si das. Make. Make. Ese es el verbo. Ah, pasó la S ahí. Que no sé. Sí, ajá, ver. Si. Si das. Y luego el complemento siempre. Phone calls. Si das oh. make phone calls. Ya no hace llamada. Phone calls. Phone calls. Phone calls. Uh, they don't. They don't speak. Don't en speak. Caso, sería el verbo. Ah, en ese caso sería don y make sería el verbo. Ah, don. Ajá. Ese sería el verbo. Sería she or, or they, por ejemplo. They don't check. Don't check serían los verbos. O el verbo. Mm -hmm. Don't check. Don't check. Email sería el complemento. Uh -huh. Ok. Es que lo voy escribiendo para ir repasando. Ok, perfecto. Ese es en términos generales para una oración. En términos ah, pues. generales. In general terms. Es una estructura básica para crear uh -huh. oraciones simples. Sí, esa, esa era una pregunta porque eh, a veces, bueno, como eh, empezamos desde cero, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, es bien importante pues, saber cuál es el sujeto, cuál es el verbo y cuál es el complemento. Ya. Yeah. Eh, otra pregunta, teacher, es que por ejemplo, algo que a mí... Antes ¿Sí? de, de, de la otra pregunta, Maya. Bien. <risa> Eso es para oraciones positivas y negativas. Ah, positivas y negativas, ok. Para la pregunta, solo va a llevar al principio en la misma estructura. Solo que al principio va a llevar un auxiliar. Al principio es va a llevar... ¿Es negativa? No, no, estoy hablando de preguntas. Ah, ok. Que, que, que voy a escribir entonces. Preguntas es la misma estructura, solo que lleva el do o el das o cualquier otro verbo auxiliar en inglés. Mm, lo que nos decía, ¿verdad? Y you, aquí con el do, con el do, y you y ti. Ajá, aquí en este caso yo digo do y das, pero podría ser también el i, el a, cualquier verbo auxiliar. <risa> en inglés hay muchos, pero ahorita solo estamos en esos y con el am, el is y el are. Bien. Sí. Sí, teacher. Bien, este, otra, otra consulta que tenía, teacher, es, por ejemplo, para la pronunciación. Eh, por ejemplo, a mí se me dificulta eh, cómo voy a pronunciar la A, cómo voy a pronunciar las vocales. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo veo, si yo veo la práctica, <risa> si hay pronuncio así, digamos la palabra practice en inglés, ¿verdad? Si se pronuncia. Yeah. Pero, eh, pero a veces a mí me cuesta eh, saber cómo voy a pronunciar cada vocal. No sé cómo puedo hacer, porque ahí, eh, a esa parte es la que a mí se me dificulta. Pero, pero estamos hablando de ya una palabra, o sea, la vocal en una palabra ya en el contexto. Sí, puede, bueno, ahí, ahí sí tendría que, sí tiene que ver en el contexto, la verdad. Pero, ah, por, por ejemplo, ejemplo si, escribe, si tengo la palabra escribir en inglés. Ah, vale. Ajá. ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar esas vocales? Esa es su dificultad. Ajá, correcto. Okay, aquí, lo más, aquí, aquí lo más conveniente sería, porque no siempre puedo estar yo para apoyarles en pronunciación, ¿verdad? Lo más conveniente sería que usen un diccionario digital. Por ejemplo, voy a compartir pantalla. I will first screen. Yo, a mí me gusta usar este diccionario que es muy bueno y tiene un speaker. Vaya. Ah, qué bueno. Vaya. Voy a compartir ahorita para que pueda ver acá. Vaya, el diccionario se llama wordreference.com sí, Pero word. Una foto, lo toma. Ah, ese, pero lo tomé la foto para. Ok. Ya le tomé la foto. <risa> para a ver, le voy a dar un ejemplo de cómo se usa. Imagínense uh -huh. que queremos ver cómo se pronuncia la palabra research o research, que podría ser de las dos maneras. Ok. Vale, le hago clic, la busco, configuro aquí inglés a español, English to Spanish, y la busco. Vaya, cuando la busque, aquí a la parte de la palabra me va a aparecer un icono que dice listen. Y aparece un speaker. 
Entonces, yo fácilmente puedo ponerle listen y puedo escuchar la palabra. Déjenme compartir el sonido para que vea cómo se escucha. Bien. Research. 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 Ajá. Entonces, ahí fácilmente yo puedo, puedo repetirla y puedo aprender cómo se pronuncia. Ok, imagínese uh -huh. otra palabra, por ejemplo, development, que significa desarrollo. Ah, esa, development. Development. Escribo la palabra, está la traducción, y luego le hago clic ahí en el speaker. Development. 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 Y puedo repetir hasta que se me quede la pronunciación. Esto es para pronunciación en términos generales. ¿Ok? Sí. Sí, porque esa parte es la que a veces cuando le preguntan a uno, pues ahí uno pronuncia algo extraño, ¿verdad? Sí, <risa> no. Esto es acerca de práctica, ahí se puede practice, así que puede ir a ese escenario y puede buscar las palabras que quiera y pronunciarlas, repetirlas y decirlas. Ajá. Sí, sí el, el, lo... Otro tip. Eh, personalmente, la mayoría de inglés que yo aprendí, lo aprendí a través de música en inglés. Ah, ya. Pero ah, pero... no escuchar la música, sino que ver la letra, aprenderme a buscar las nuevas palabras, eso me ayudó a mí. Quizás en su mayoría del inglés que yo aprendí fue a través de la música al principio. ¿okay? Escuchaba la música, buscaba la letra en inglés, me la aprendía la música, la cantaba yo solo en el baño para que no me escuchara nadie porque no puedo cantar. Pero la idea era cantar para aprender pronunciación. ¿okay? Ah, sí, sí, ahí ese. Ajá, he escuchado también esa técnica, ¿verdad? Pero cuando, pero vaya, por ejemplo, en el caso, en el caso mío, que, que yo voy a iniciar esa, esa parte de practicar con, con, eh, con digamos, con canciones, eh, la recomendación, no sé, eh, tengo, que, tengo que colocarla en, en español también, porque si no, no voy a saber. Vaya, lo que yo hacía es que yo al principio, yo iba, eh, leía la canción, la letra de la canción, porque en ese tiempo era en papel, y buscaba las palabras nuevas y las escribía por ahí en un, en un apartado de la misma página. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y estudiaba las palabras y a medida yo iba escuchando la canción, iba aprendiéndome la canción, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. Y como ya había estudiado las palabras, las internalizaba y se me quedaban. Y luego me aprendía la canción y la cantaba para pronunciación. Seguía ah. hasta, hasta que me aprendía las canciones, ahí andaba cantándolas hasta que me las aprendí. Eh, eh, bueno, esas son las dos preguntas que yo tenía porque eh, eh, me, me, me estaba costando eso de eh, eh, identificar las partes en la oración, ¿verdad? porque sí las podía identificar, pero tenía ciertas dudas. Y también con respecto a la pronunciación, que sí es bien importante, ¿verdad? Y que pues a veces uno pronuncia algo extraño. No, no, it's okay. es, es un proceso y es de práctica. Es about practice. La, lo Exacto. bueno es no bajar la guardia y mantenerse practicando. Keep sí, esas dos preguntas eran, teacher. ¿Qué tipo de música le gusta a usted en inglés? Fíjense que eh, las que yo escucho, eh, más que todo, son las de los años 80. Es que no para, mí, la verdad. para el inglés es lo mejor. Ah, la de los años 80, ¿verdad? Eh, hoy, por tanto trabajo, pero eh, voy, a, voy a empezar a hacerlo para poder yo practicar y mejorar mi pronunciación, porque, porque sí es, eh, es bastante, eh, bastante conveniente aprender en inglés, la verdad. Ya, yeah, por supuesto. Ok. Sí. Thank sí, you, sí, sí. Vaya, usted por, por, por explicarme. Ya, yes, it's okay, no problem. We are here to help. Estamos aquí para apoyar. We are here to help. Gracias, teacher. Ahí voy, voy a hacer las tareas que tengo atrasadas. Okay, thank you very much for joining. Good night. Sí. Well, good night. Okay, goodbye. See you, Bye. See you on Monday. Okay. Okay, goodbye.